Okay, Paul again here from EMD Automotive. So now we take that part off this part here. So what you gotta do is all you gotta do is take the um, this is the new stock. See how it stays down. Turn right. Stays down. Stays up. All right, that's good. So that's working. So now all I gotta do now is take this part off. We'll do on the floor. This is exactly the same one. So take this one off. Just comes off. Just like that. And the two holes, that one there, that one there lines up with that. That one there, those two there. So it's hard to do with one hand. Just pause and I'll do it. Two hands first. Alright, I'll just remove it from here and then put it straight into there. Go through there and there. Alright, and then this one here, just one T10, goes through there. T10, take the T10 out. T10 comes out. This one just come up and goes into here. Alright, that's it. Alright, all you gotta do is put that in there and then put the T10 back in that hole and you're pretty much done and ready to assemble this to this part here. Okay, now we're ready for the assembly. So we just put everything back together. So what you make, make sure that bolt and screw is pushed in like that. That's the T25. Make sure that's pushed in. Now we're, we've got the 10mm T10 there. So all you gotta do is plug it in. So that one there, there's two. So it's gonna be upside down. So you gotta turn this that way and then plug it in. So watch out, that's gonna fall. So make sure you put it back. Just like that. All right. And then turn it upside down. Hold this side here. And then all you gotta do is push it in. Like that this way see have a look at the configuration one small one there goes on that small one there four pin there go on there four pin there and the ten pin here goes on the ten pin there so leave this like that all you gotta do is just turn it upside down and then push it on like this this way all right it's very hard to do one hand but I'll show you what I mean All right, we're here now, and the reason why I'm doing it this way, upside down like that, is to actually let the bolt, otherwise the bolt will fold off, the bolt will fold off, so and now I'm like that. Just make sure, all you got to think of is this 10 pin here, 10 pin there is going to go on that 10 pin there, push the bolt in more, just like that. Line up those one, two, three, with those one, two, three holes there. Have to line up that one there, that one there. Just make sure it doesn't fall out. Just line up the holes slowly, just like that. And when you do push it in, just push it in slowly, slowly, just very slow, slow. And then make sure that it's back. So you have to push that back. Get a screwdriver. See what I mean? Push that one back a bit more because it's still there. So come up again and then push that one back. Push the bolt back. I'm happy that happened. So make sure the bolt can be like that. And then now you can see the bolt. Sometimes just take the bolt out straight. And now you push that all in. See now it's lined up. See how the things are lined up now. There, 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 and then you can just put the bolt in like that. And just put it in and start it. What I usually do is put it in now and then start it.
Yeah, just like that. See how the bolt? I just turn it one, one little turn, and that's it. Just stay there, so it doesn't fall off. So now everything is back together. So all I gotta do now is place this in the actual. Now I gotta do now is put the cover on. So the cover is going to be upside down as well, so put the cover on this way. So I've got one, two, three screws, so you've got a one, there's one here. Yeah. One hole, one hole, one hole there, I've got a screw there. It's going to line up with that, that one there, that one there, and that one there. So just line it up, just like this. It only goes in one way. Make sure they go in properly. Like that. Just falls down there. See how it just falls down? In there. Now that one lines up. Now I've got to do the screws on. One, two, three screws that I took, took off before. T10 again. So. Again, T10. So what I usually do, I usually put the screws on on top, just like that, and then as you put it in, it's much easier, much easier to push put the screws in. See how the screws on like that? One, two, three. So now just push down until it's in, and then just start all of them. Oh, that one, that one got started. That one got started, and that one got started. Now I'm just gonna push it in harder by just holding a hand on the other side of this stalk like that, and just go like that. That's it. That's enough. Not too much. And when you do them up, it's pretty much just hand tight because it's plastic. So you don't need to get a uh, tool to actually do it tighter because you'll break the plastic. So when it's tight, just use your hand, that's enough. Same as that one there. You can, if you want to, get your, your T T10 and then try to make it tighter. But I'm telling you now, not too tight to break. I'm just taking a little bit, just a little tiny nip. That's it, we're done. So now, the screw is still in his inside there, as you can see. Now it's gonna put this in the car now, on the right side, which is this way, onto the actual thing. Make sure you, when you push it in, make sure you push in slowly, because that part there is gonna line up with this part here. So otherwise you'll break it, all right? Sorry, it's going to be too long, but very important. If you look where the bolt is, see that bolt there? That's what's holding everything into the actual steering column. All right, make sure that the bolt is not protruding into the actual gap there. See that gap there? That gap there must be clear. Because that, when you push this in, when you push that part in, that's got to go between that. The gap's got to... That's got to go into the gap, and the screw will go into the hole. The hole from one side to the other side to hold everything in. So it only goes in one way. So when you think about it, it only goes in one way. So that gap there, that I'm talking about, has to go through that that uh, piece of metal there. Very important. So when you put it in, it should just go in. you got to sort of watch it at the same time. Uh, where the metal is so it's there so it only goes in one way so you can go in like that so I need to actually take it off take the bolt off and see if it slides in okay see how the screws are out now if you look at the screw there 
I'm taking the screw completely off. So that way you can everything can slide in. So when you slide, you can feel it slide through that that part there. You can feel it. And when it goes in, you, you can't wiggle anymore. So when, when everything goes in, look through the hole here from underneath. And then try to put the screw in. So if the screw goes into there, into the hole there, the screw is gonna go into the hole, come out the other side of the hole, and goes onto that side there of the thread. All right, this part here. And that's when everything is in. Otherwise, it's not in properly. Okay, do that first. Make sure everything's lined up before you do the screw up. That means when you see the hole, and if you can do the bolt up, if you can do this bolt up tight, that means everything is in properly. So, because that must be in the plug properly. All right, let me, let me try and I'll show you. Sorry the video is taking too long, but if you watch it, it might help somebody out there. So now everything's back on. So when you push it in, you can actually watch the hole from the side on the corner there. And once you see it, you push it in, it just makes a noise go bang. And when it goes in, like a nice noise, like that. So that means everything's in, everything's in. So now the best, the test, the best test is put the screw in. If the screw screws, are, if you screw this in the hole underneath here, and it goes all the way in and it's tight, that means everything is 100% correct. And then you start putting the clock spring on, pretty much from there, put it on there, and that's pretty much it. Okay. So, let me do that. Sorry, just want to clear everything up, I was wrong, it's a T30. That screw that goes inside here, it's a T30, not a T25, I got it wrong. So it's a T30, okay. Good news, everything lined up. That one went in, so that means everything's lined up. So that's that T30 there is tight. So now I'm gonna put the clock spring on and just push it on and then do the T30 up. All right. So line up the arrow, make sure it's a straight arrow there. Lines up the marks here on the steering. Straight up mark there. Should line up with that one. That arrow there lines up with the marks here. Okay, now it brings back. See, it's very important that you, when you put this back in, see the clock, bottom part of the clock spring? One is bigger than the other one, the little notches. So make sure you get a little pin and move this around to line up the bigger one on the left, and the right one is the smaller one, smaller hole. All right, bigger hole, smaller hole. Before you insert this one into the hole there. All right, let's try that. So once you push it in, it just goes in like that, and then you can feel it like that, moving around. So everything's back on properly. So now uh, you've got to actually put this T, the T third, the T tens, make sure they're tight, and then pretty much um, put the covers on. You know, cover that you took off. One, two, three. Put those covers back on before you put the steering wheel on. And after that, when you put the steering wheel back, make sure you feed this through the hole on the steering wheel that part there and then make sure that part there comes out through that hole there and the wire harness come through that hole there okay and then that's pretty much it and then you do the airbag up put the nut on the steering wheel toggle it up to 50 newton meters on the Porsche I think the Mercedes Benz is a bit different I'll go a bit tighter um, put a bit of Loctite as well put some Loctite because you want this to be very tight and then put the airbag on toggle it up to 30 newton meters T30 and then uh, let's connect the battery and go from there all right but that's how you take it off I hope this will help somebody out there but I and then we'll go from there okay thanks for watching actually I'll see if I can finish the job and then I'll say thanks for watching because my uh, phone if somebody ring my phone to talk to me the video will cut out and then that's pretty much it for me all right there you go that's all slide in now top one middle one the bottom one the little caps now i'm ready for the steering wheel so i just gotta line up the hole make sure it's lined up the steering wheel line is lined up the black line there all right that's the middle of the actual that means the actual wheels are straight there's the wheel there so you can see it's pretty much how they are lined up here 
this one lines up there, wiring harness there, and the holes pretty much line up. The little mark there lines up with that mark there that I put there. Alright, this way it's hard to see. Uh, maybe that angle there. No, not that one. It's that one there. This one. That one there. That one there. Lines up that one there. Alright, so now I'm going to put the bolt on, the M10, sorry the 10mm allen key. Okay, if you're not sure which Loctite, I use this Loctite here, pet locker. Let's put some here, and now we're going to put it into the, not sure what happened to my camera. The flash died, it's got low battery, so put some Loctite already, now I want to put it back in here. Okay, everything's back together now, so now let's go and let's go in now. My battery's dying, so I'm not sure how long this video is gonna last. Connect the battery. Do it up tight, do it up tight later, but for now just connect it. So we can start the car up. Find the key. Car started. No airbag light on. Now we're gonna test the indicator. This one here. Okay, so indicator. Okay, left. Sorry about that. <laughs> Been recording the wrong spot. So left indicator. Was it working? Now right indicator. So everything's working. All right. Good news. Now we're gonna put everything back together underneath and then the battery and all that. And after that we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And this is the actual old part that was faulty. So no need for that. Everything's fixed. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.